Hey, it's Brandon Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be going through return rates on Scale Insights. Now, a lot of you are probably just getting that email that Amazon sends when someone requests a refund, but this is a lot more detailed than that. This actually shows you trends. It shows you kind of on month on month, week on week, where's the issues going with stock? Have you made a change to the listing that's causing the refund rate to spike? This is where you can find all the information. So I'm going to jump into that now with you and let's, let's get started. Now I've got the demo account up here to show you all the numbers. So, you know, these date ranges is what the demo account says, but you can still use it to find the information on your account. So what you need to do is go dashboard sales and sales trend, go on the sales trend dashboard and you'll be able to look at refunds. So, you can look at it on a week on week kind of basis. So you can see it all here. You can go to monthly trend, go down to refunds per month. So obviously the data is a bit skewed here. There's only showing a few months, but if you're looking on your account, you're going to be able to see a trend. You're going to see either it's pretty flat or maybe after Christmas, there's a bit more of a spike. So you'd have more, uh, more returns in January, more refunds then. And this is all stuff that you want to see. You want to be able to articulate what's going on with your account. Why are people really funding and kind of dive into the numbers. And when it comes to this, if you've made a particular change on a listing or all of your listings uploaded A plus content and you see a return rate, maybe there's a communication problem. Maybe you've added something in there that the client is thinking is supposed to be in the product, but it's not or there's something that's a feature of your product that's not being communicated properly. And refund rates can tell you whether that's that's a particular problem. So it's worth if you have a high re refund rate, high return rate, have a look at any changes that you've made, use scale insights, see if there's kind of a spike in those returns and try and come to the conclusion of what's going on in your accounts. On this page here, you can diagnose what your return rates are per product. And you can kind of see that this has the highest refund rate, but it's it's not that bad. It's three returns out of 184. So it's, it's more of a low sales issue because you're always going to get a couple of returns. But, you know, it's more of a problem when you have higher volume and that return rate is higher. So like this one, 1%, 1 it's not bad. But if it was maybe like 4, 5, 6%, that could be a problem at that point. Amazon could start flagging that listing and that's not something you want to happen. So if that starts to happen to you, you'll be able to see it in this dashboard here on a product level. Try and make some of those changes, figure out why people are returning things. And that goes to customer returns here, which gives you even more information on what you can be looking for. And as you can see, when you go on a listing page, you can really see what the customer comments are. So you can see why people have made the return, what the reason is, if there's any certain comments such as the shipment was undeliverable, anything like that that's potentially hurting your listing. If you're FBM, FBA, you're able to find out whether it's the shipping process or whether it's to do with your, uh, your side there with the product. So have a look into this, see if there's any problems that are potentially causing you this higher refund rate and try and get it fixed because as business owners, we're trying to improve our products. We're trying to get our lines, our brands to be up to a good standard. And obviously getting this kind of feedback is invaluable. So take some action on it and try and sort out your return issues if you need to. And if you need help with your Amazon PPC and you want some more advice on how to use Scale Insights, our details are in the description. So feel free and contact me directly. Hello at kickstartpbc.com. And if you want to use Scale Insights but haven't before, we have a promotion in the description below, which gives a 30-day free trial without need for a credit card and 10% off lifetime discount. So good value to you if you want to use Scale Insights and get this kind of information about your business. And if you're a Scale Insights user already, Subscribe to the channel. We're making a ton of videos on Scale Insights, diving into all of the features, everything that we think you'll find useful. So stay tuned and you'll get a lot of value from our channel. So until the next video, hope you have a good day and we'll see you then. Bye.